Um, hello everyone. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be helping the grade 12 learners, uh, particularly here in Zambia. Uh, though the format can work anywhere in the world, but it's really helpful, especially to the learners who are taking the O-level ECZ examination in Zambia. Oh yeah, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ask questions about how to write this field project or report, how to write a really, really excellent field research or report. Yeah, so I've had several people who've come to me, of course, Grid uh, they, they wanted to find out how to write a really good field report. So, uh, a field report, uh, they just want to find out um, what you have uh, like your knowledge on something so the first thing you do in a field writing a field report of course you have to have like the acknowledgement the dedication and the declaration those are the first like chapters that you have to write and after those things you go now to the actual report writing you have to go in first you start with the introduction in the introduction, you can include the background. Um, so in the background, you write about um, uh, the historical aspect of the research you've been given. Let's say, for example, you've been given, um, uh, like, write a field research on waste management in Zambia. The background about Zambia, you can write um, things like how Zambia was established when it got its independence yeah stuff like that then yeah when why and how those questions should be answered in the background then the other um, um, thing you can write in the introduction is the location you can write the location of um, the uh, topic under study for example the same waste management in Zambia you can write a, uh, just a brief introduction on on Zambia yeah and then you can include the map that map should include the compass or the uh, the compass here yeah, which is pointing to the north the west and the south and the east and then it should have also a key a key and the compass which is the direction yeah then after that you move on to um, the problem statement so the problem statement is the main theme being investigated. For example, um, let's say the same topic about an example of crime in Zambia, of course. You, the problems in the problem statement, you you can define what waste management is. You can say waste management is the management of solid waste, blah blah blah, yeah, stuff like that. Then you state the irregular irregularities which need understanding. So you state the problem which is being investigated nicely. You define the term waste management as an example, of course, yeah, and everything like that. Then you move on to the aims. Um, most schools prefer the aims being alone and the objectives being alone, though you can still combine them. The aims of the project and the objectives of the project. Yeah. Then after that, you now move on to the second chapter. This, the introduction can be written as chapter one. Then you close there then you go to chapter two which is the literature review so mainly on the literature review you just have to write um a study that has been conducted before of course a study which has been conducted before on the same um on the same topic that you've been given for example waste management in zambia you can consult books that have been written before on waste management yeah and then um this is to identify the areas uh and contributions that you may contribute and the knowledge you may contribute because this project the field project the geographic field project in zambia attempts to be to help the government when the minister of education in zambia gets gets that project they want to find out what learners have in mind about the current situations on certain topics so that they contribute to the well-being of Zambia or Africa or even the world can use that knowledge yeah 
Then after that, you move on to the methodology. It's also in chapter two. So in the methodology, you have to explain how the project was carried out. So you have to explain the um, methodologies that are used. And then on the methodologies, of course, there are two types of methodologies. There's primary methodology and secondary methodology. In the primary methodology, you have to include things such as uh, it, it, primary methodology in, in short it's the first hand first hand um, information that you've obtained yeah for example this may be through observation of the area that you've gone to for example the example which is waste management of course you observe the area you, you interview people that's through primary methodology observation interviewing um, questionnaires questioning people yeah that's through primary methodology then after that you go to um, secondary methodology secondary methodology this is the second hand information that you use it may be the internet the books that you've consulted it might be um, newspapers and stuff yeah then after that methodology you now create create another chapter which is chapter three in chapter three you can include the presentation findings in presentation findings you can interpret it through tables flowcharts graphs statistical maps so in, in the presentation findings um, you can also combine it with interpretation of findings so in the presentation of findings for example you can um, draw a, a, a pie chart on the types of um, waste in a certain area and in the interpretation findings that's another chapter you interpret them then um in the conclusion after the interpretation of findings you can either write uh, the pro and uh, no, before the conclusion you write the problems and limitations that you faced during the study so you may have faced problems such as maybe you may have not had enough time to finish the research of course and uh, maybe financial problems also, transport problems, weather, all those are problems. People tend to be ruled all those are problems. Then um, you go to now the conclusion. In the conclusion, you confirm your findings, you contradict your findings, you contradict them. You support them, again, you don't support. You just stand, you are neutral, you are partial, you are not supporting anything in the conclusion. Then you bring out new information also in the, conclu in the conclusion. Then after the conclusion, you go to the recommendation in the recommendation, you suggest possible solutions to the problem and increase understanding of the topic and the study. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Then um, there are other, there are other, there's another chapter that you can add, which is the appendix. In the appendix, you can include the questionnaire that you've been given. And you can also include the map. The map, you can either put it in the location or you can just uh, postpone it to put it in the appendix it's fine on the location you just write refer to appendix uh, maybe zero zero one yeah then they'll find the map there yeah that's pretty much it and that's how you write a field project that's the zambian format though it can work even in college not just for grade 12 college university it works so if you have any question or contributions of, of uh, maybe i missed out something you can write it in the comment section and then I'll find it. I'll read it. And if you need any help, you can again comment and then I'll find the comment. Yeah, and then I'll see where I can help. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how you write an excellent project.